Um, well, basically, I, I come from Leeds. Um, I was born in the late 60s. Um, my parents came from West Indies, Jamaica. Uh -huh. um, I was the youngest of five. And I've spent most of my life in Leeds City, but I've, well, with my work and everything, I've been about. I grew up in a, a predominantly white area of Leeds at the time, which was Hyde Park, Burley. Um, I would, I, as a child, I'd go to church on a Sunday in Chapel Town, which was uh, a black church. Um, my school was predominantly white. Um, yeah, where did I get me acting from? It's a very, it's a very hard thing to sort of like truly put into place. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think myself, some of my creativity came out of, as a youth, spending a lot of time on my own due to illnesses and right. so uh -huh. forth like that. Um, I actually got involved in like a youth, like well, it was like a, a little um, drama club. Um, with the drama tutor of the, of, of the, the college and um, we did a production I'd say mid 90 that I made a true concerted effort right. to be to actually really become an so artist. So was the, was the karaoke something that you allowed you to inhabit another character or inhabit did you find something coming out within that? Within yeah well that? I mean, I, I think the because it's like I mean, I never looked at myself as a singer and, right. and so forth like that. Um, it was when I started playing and messing about with karaoke. It was, it, I mean, I would play. I would mm -hmm. sometimes mix it up with different character voices and yeah. and mix up the words and whatever. So it was like I, I started playing, and it was this thing people actually liked what I was doing. Right. I mean, I went through a period where, you know what I mean, I'd be going to karaoke competitions around the area, making a little bit of money even. Basically, yeah, that had been 90, so I started um, September 96. Right. Um, that was supposed to be a two year BTEC course um, in performing arts. Right. And at that time I tried to involve myself in as much as I could what was around me. All I wanted at that particular juncture was to act, to perform, um, right. learn the arts of it and, and to get more involved with it. Um, that drew me into the West Yorkshire Playhouse as well. Um, I did a couple of community productions with right. them and then there was a production called Beatification of Area Boy um, which is a Nigerian play and the woman who was directing that production was a, a lady called Jude Kelly, who was the artistic right. director at that time. And I'd done some productions with her husband. And basically, um, one day I was in a rehearsal for another community production, and it was I was saying, well, this isn't really what I want to do. This isn't what, I, what I'm into. So somebody says, oh, well, you know what I mean? Why don't you have a word with Jude Kelly? You know what I mean, she, yeah. and she, she told me that there was this um, Biafran play, which was um, a Wally Shinka play. And so then I got involved with that first off as um, a supernumerary, which is basically an extra. Yeah. Um, but the experience was absolutely fantastic. He was uh, being there in the rehearsals mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean, is that thing of what is creativity and how do you create it's right. not it's not always just about plucking something from your mind and yeah. going with it but yeah you know i mean looking looking in depth into sort of like backgrounds of histories yeah. so that you have something to build characters on yeah. um which was something that i learned very strongly um working in productions like that well i applied for the audition went down and won it <laughs> it surprised me. <laughs> this was down in London. Yeah, uh, which was um, basically it was um, a one-year intensive, and it was like well, basically like being in rep. Um, we would, we would, we would do. A, we'd start a production. We'd then we'd start rehearsal on the next production, and we would just keep turning around and we'd do. I think it was two productions a term. You see, that's that's the other side of this actor malarkey. Yeah. I mean. I'd say I spent, I mean, because I was down in London from 97 till about 2000, I came back, um, hadn't had much luck after doing drama school and finishing drama school, came back up here, um, didn't really have any contacts at that first juncture, um, I then got involved with um, 
Bradford Theatre, which was Theatre in the Mill. And that was my sort of inroad into getting quite creative because they were doing lots of new writing festivals right. and stuff like that. So they were looking for people who, who performed. Yeah. Um, so I got, I got quite involved with that, which then gave me opportunities to expand into places like Manchester. Um, and I spent a hell of a lot of time wondering how you got in. And I, it's only getting to where I am now, still wondering how you get in, yeah. but realizing there ain't no in. Right. Yeah, I mean, there ain't, the, the industry do not work with in, out, it, it's very transient. Yeah. And like when you're working, you're in, and, and, and sometimes that can feed into other avenues and other yeah. opportunities. When you're not working, then that's the harder side of it because then it's trying to then feed right. into that world, you know what I mean? Okay. Some people still sit on a ledge where it's going, oh, well, you know what I mean? If it's not, if it doesn't say black, mm. then, you know what I mean? But the, you see, I'm, it's hard to explain how I, how I personally feel about how the creative world is. Because in certain levels, I could say there's an essence of racism. Right. Um, as a black person, there is less work. Um, as a black person, it is, it's more stereotypical, mm -hmm. the, the, the style, the, the kind of work which will come. That is changing right. now. I'm not going to say it's, it's, it's as a much... in film and TV because it's more contemporary, so people are more... Yes and no. ...more integration in society. No, yes and no. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I look at... Um, I'd say, actually, in television, it, it's, it's probably m more stereotypical. Really? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably say it is. Um, I'd say, yeah, I mean, in theatre, I mean, I've, I've, I've played the father to somebody who's not, the, we're, not the, we're not of the same race. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, but we, we've, we've created that and we've made the story, and the, and the story's worked because it's, it's about the story. It's not, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, within television, um, it it's still runs quite, there's quite a lot of stereotypical, yeah. you know what I mean? Either going from one extreme of being from the policeman to right. the lawyer to being, you know what I mean, the criminal. Okay. I think out of all the things that I've done, it would probably be Living Pretty. Right, Can um, you tell us a bit about that? That was a, a play written by Ray Brown, who's a writer, radio producer, director, um, and it was a show about his next door neighbour, um, a man who'd come from Jamaica back in the 50s, 60s. And it was his story of migration, of life as it was for him as a child in mm. Jamaica. And then what, what he saw when he came to Britain and how he went through that. And um, as it, it was two-tiered because of it was, it was a very close relationship I ended up having with Ray Brown because it was like basically it's a, it's a one man story right. um, so there's a lot of developmental stuff yeah. that you could get into yeah. uh, under the skin of what yeah. was going on in his, head, in his mind and his experience and it, 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 it helped to move because it was that thing of looking he, he's an Englishman who wrote a book with a Jamaican man who pa then passed away and then from that he devised this play right. um, and working with him it was it, it, the thing was there was it wasn't like I've just gone there and I've got a job to do and I just I have to do as I'm told it was like yeah you know I mean because of my background my parents history of right. um, Jamaica and so forth like that there's things that I could relate to things that I I didn't relate to and we, we could sit down and discuss and and it was about creating a piece of work and to be involved with a piece of work from such an early stage, to take it as, as well as getting involved with trying to get the funding and mm -hmm. so forth like that, and then getting it out on the road. Right. Um, it was. It was. Yeah. I mean, I felt fully a part. Mm -hmm. I, I. I had invested a real invested interest right. in the in this play and and what the story told yeah you know i mean i felt it was it was it was a tale what needed to sort of like be out there it's, it's the unsung heroes of the world yeah. those voices where 
it's the everyday Joe who is an everyday Joe but sometimes you know what I mean some of the things in the life have, are quite big but you know what I mean you don't know about these things